Hey, what's up guys? This is Steel Rain and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a summary and overview of the last video, the ADM Continuous Current uh, LiPo Discharging. So we'll go ahead and start off with the Hyperion battery, first of all, and uh, uh, let you know how it did. So overall, it didn't do too bad. It had nine bursts. Its longest burst was 32 seconds, so that's pretty respectable, um, particularly for a battery that's 178 grams. It's a pretty light 1800 milliamp battery. Um, so overall didn't do bad. Uh, it, this final temperature came out to 151 degrees and um, its final price is the only thing I, I really am kind of sketchy about is $41.95. Um, I mean it's it's up there in the premium price LiPo range so uh, you, go, you guys go ahead and look down in the video's description for the spreadsheet links and you could kind of compare it, uh, how it performed with, you know, the other batteries and prices and everything else overall. But overall, it's, it's not a bad battery. Um, I'm also going to be doing a, uh, I, I guess it'd be a, a long-term testing on this one and the indestructible quads high voltage batteries because like I said in the previous video, you know, high voltage batteries, especially when charged up to their 4.3, 4.35 volts per cell, you know, they, they tend to, to lose their punch and crap out on you after, you know, somewhere in between 10 and 20 cycles, 30 at the most. So I'm going to be trying to put about 40, 40 to 50 cycles through uh, these two batteries here and see how they hold up. So that'll be a, a video at a later time. So the next battery we're going to get into here is the prototype battery from Indestructible Quads. I guess it'd be pre-production, uh, 4S 1500 milliamp uh, high voltage, 85C. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be called the the gold label, just like their their previous high voltage batteries. So we'll go ahead and get into how it performed. It did a total of six bursts, and its longest burst was 46 seconds. So pretty similar to the previous version uh, gold label uh, did pretty well. I mean, that's what you want to see is less burst and a longer time, like 46 seconds. So it's it's pretty high up there. Um, coming in at 171 grams, but then again, this is, you know, uh, pre-production. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure if he's going to put in plates or heavier shrink wrap, but 171 grams is pretty respectable. And uh, no price on it yet, so can't really comment on that. So we'll we'll have to see how it goes. But I don't expect it to be any different from the previous gold label pricing. So uh, go ahead and check the the, uh, the the links to the spreadsheet for the price to the previous gold label. And like I said too, this one also is going to be in a long term testing. So uh, I'll, I'll produce a video uh, once that's all complete. Last battery in the testing was the Black Label, the new um, Indestructible Quads Black Label Armored Edition. It's ADC 1500 milliamp 4S. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into how it did. It uh, had a total of nine bursts, and its longest burst was 30 seconds. So respectable. It's it's not you know up there with the premium premium batteries, but it, it still held its own pretty well, I think. Um, so nine bursts, its final temperature after the testing was 127 degrees. That's that's really awesome. That's pretty 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 good number right there that it kept its temperature down during the testing. Uh, 200 grams, it is a little on the hefty side, but you know it's it's got a little bit extra protection from the plates on the top and bottom and and uh, thick thicker heat shrink wrap. So a little bit more robust battery, and he still has his. Uh, his original black labels on there if 200 grams is too much for you. This battery comes in at uh, $25.50, so it's definitely priced right in the in the budget type LiPo batteries, and I still have my my three original black labels from before. I mean, they're, they're, they probably got about 70, 80 cycles on them now, uh, you know, so they're still holding up, haven't dropped a cell, and haven't had any issues with those yet. So I'll go ahead and hopefully this one lasts just as good as the first generation. Uh, we'll find out over time. And also I need to check it on some of my rigs and see how it does, you know, under 
some pretty demanding conditions. So that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Um, go ahead and, and, like I said, check the uh, spreadsheet and the links down in the description for my testing procedures and methodology. And everything's in fine detail there if you have any questions. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any uh, comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the normal place below. Thanks, guys. See you.